What's up, guys? Out of here, welcome back to another video, Man 21. Now, today, we're talking about the chemistries and abilities and some of the X factors I have on all my players. I've seen a lot of comments recently asking about who I uh, have abilities and X factors on, who. Uh, what type of chemistries do I use? Am I using a physical chem yet? So in this video, I'm just going to break it all down. Who ha who gets what? Um, yeah, and break it down like that. So to start off, just going through the chemistries itself. Um, I'm 51 out of 50 bears right now. Um, I can afford to use another card that isn't that was on the Bears team, but isn't doesn't have chemistry like uh, this Trey Burden. Right, he's on the Colts, but he played for the Bears, but doesn't have a power up, so he doesn't get Bears chem yet. Or this Greg Olson, um, some card like that, you know, that played for us, but has not uh, gotten a power up to get Bears chem yet. So 51 out of 50 for them. Uh, balance D, I'm actually 43 out of 40, uh, 45, so I need to um, get two more there uh, to get 45 out of 50, and then I only need five more after that, so seven more total, and I'm actually maxed on balance D uh, for that. Zone run, I actually am going to get 40 in this video right here, because I just am, I kind of just want to fill in like a low low center here just to get the chemistry point see i have uh john miller and now this Lindsay guy that backs up these guys in offense just so i can get chemistry on them um they don't see the field so it's not really going to mess with the theme team and like i said i try to pick low oh um nope not balance I try to pick low overall guy so it doesn't mess with the overall like i had a silver here and i had a a, uh, like a high silver here and a high silver at right guard and these guys are only a 73 and a 72 at right guard right but they're just there for chemistry so there you go i'm 40 out of 50 now um 10 more to get 50 for zone run i do use zone run i was using balance offense but I'm using zone run just because I like to run the ball a little bit more than passing. So I thought, you know, this plus four carrying, the run block, run by power, lead block, you know, all that, especially with how low our offensive line was, um, especially in the interior, it helped out a lot. Um, as you can see, Whitehair is actually up to an 81 now. He He's base cards either a 78 or 79 so just helping these guys out in the interior a lot is um is what i was going for and then same with tight ends getting their run blocking up and all and all that so yeah so those are the the team chemistries that i have that i'm using zone run balance d and then shadow bears as for physical chem i have shaker and now i could get i believe shaker on cole commit um and i think that is it I think everybody else, uh, I, sh oh, I can get Shaker on Daniels, so I can get a 35 out of 40, but there's no, um, a 35 out of 40, you know, it goes from 30 straight to 40, um, and I'll have a, a plus one change direction, plus one acceleration once I get there, so still need five more guys, uh, for that, and I'll have a maxed 40 out of 40, and I'm debating on if I want to switch that to a sprinter or something that gives two, uh, plus speed instead of one because technically you only re really really need a 25 out of 40 for that plus one speed but i thought the change direction acceleration uh would be pretty nice and you only lose strength which isn't too important in madden um so yeah now putting that center in i'm at 50 out of 50 bears so still good still good there but like I said, these are the chemistries I use uh, right now. And you can see everyone on the offense gets zone run except for our left tackle, our left guard, our backup left guard, just because he's a silver. So I'll highlight that again for you. See everyone lit up. Everyone gets it but that left guard. Um, I could put somebody else there backing him up um, just to get the chemistry, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'll only do that if I'm one away, you know, to get to 45 or 50. So... Uh, that's the offense for zone run. Everyone gets it, but I said the le backup left tackle. And as for shaker on offense, um, you got two linemen, which really doesn't help the linemen too much. But again, I just wanted it to boost uh, the chemistry and have it. But Jimmy Graham, Greg Olson, like I said, Cole Commit will have it here soon. Daniels will have it here soon. Um, Andre Johnson, oops, sorry, Andre Johnson, 
Nick Foles, Trubisky, Mostert, uh, Mike Davis, and Montgomery, Allen Robinson, and Ed McCaffrey. So they all have a uh, shaker on offense. And, um, yeah, so it boosts these guys a lot. You know, speed and acceleration and change direction is very important in this game. So just adding that one or two plus for all of them is really nice. As for shaker on defense... The suit gets on defense. So I have Rokon Smith, Bostic, Sam Mills. Uh, I have Mac Floyd. I believe Floyd. Actually, let me check that. I don't know. Yes, Floyd does get. I did put him on him. Okay, we have Floyd. We have Amos, Gibson, Eddie uh, Jackson, Lance Briggs, Robert Quinn, Tracy Porter, Jalen Johnson, uh, Mario Addison, uh, Koye, Hicks. Goldman and Fuller. So basically all our starters and a couple backups get it. Again, the backups just have it just so I can try to get that 40 out of 40 as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, that's the defense with Shaker. Um, and that's who gets it. As for balance D on defense, everyone except for the uh, free safety backup McManus. Um, I need another. Hopefully we get like a well, first, I want Eddie Jackson upgrade for sure. But maybe like a Mike Brown again, like last year, have two safeties over there um, to get chemistry. But yeah, this is what it looks like right now. 43 out of 50. I might be able to move around. I might be able to put, you know, a backup left or a free safety and try to get some chemistry, get plus two chemistry somehow to get 45 out of 50. But right now, 43 out of 50. And everyone gets it, like I said, with the backup, uh, backup free safety. Um, yeah, so those are the team cams, like I said. Uh, Chicago Bears 50 out of 50, Zone Run, Balance D, and Shaker. That's what I'm using. Um, Balance D, I think, is just awesome because it gives you plus two and possibly plus three in a couple different areas um, across the whole field. So it kind of just helps everyone instead of, like, doing, like, Run Stopper or um, Zone or Man, you know, just to only upgrade like a specific position this upgrades everyone on the defense which i really like so i always run balance d on defense balance or uh, offense i will switch from balance o to zone run to possibly something new here soon not sure power run maybe i don't know it depends on the back we you know we might get a walter payton i might put up power run out there just to get a little bit more uh trucking and stuff and all that but who knows offense my chemistry kind of changes but defense all year i basically run balance d um but that's how it's looking so far Okay, so now let's get into abilities and X-Factors. So, let me go here. Superstar X-Factors. So, once let's be able to move. As you can see on offense, uh, in the top right, I am maxed out on X-Factors. I have three out of three. And then AP, I'm also maxed out right now as well. As soon as it gets me to load. I don't know why this page takes forever to load for you to be able to move. So, I have X-Factor on uh, Mostert, Freight Train. He actually gets that because he's a beast. Um, so, that's actually a really awesome uh, X-Factor to use. An increased chance to break the next tackle attempt. And 9 times out of 10, he's breaking it. He even breaks tackles without this x factor up. So, <laughs> this card is awesome. If you haven't had him or haven't tried him out yet, please do. He is great. Um, and also on him for 2 AP, I have a Jukebox. Now, I went with um, the other one that was Jukebox and uh, Jukebox and something else, Spin. And I just didn't think the Spin worked too well. I don't think the Spin works too well this year. I have never really been a fan of spinning. So I actually took that away and put Jukebox on, and it was less AP. You know, and it costs way half the training. So I'm just going with Jukebox on Mostert. It helps them out a lot. Uh, my next, um, my next X Factor is on Nick Foles. Omaha shows defensive coverage on DBs. Um, again, it doesn't really get. I act, I activate it every now and then. Not too bad, um, but it's really nice. You get to see the coverages and what they're running with Omaha. And then I have set feet elite on him, and I think this is why I use him over Trubisky, um, just because the set feet elite is really, really nice. It increases your throw power when leading bullet passes with feet set, which I do bullet passes a lot. So, you know, he's standing still in the pocket. He's not mobile too much, so stand in the pocket, and you can just drill a ball, throw it. And, I mean, it just... it. 
it skyrockets there. So I think that two AP um, ability is really nice on Foles, and that's why I use him more than Trubisky. I do sub in Trubisky a little bit um, just to get some design run plays and stuff. But like I said, Nick Foles has better passing stats in general, and he gets set feet elite, which I think is just awesome. I know a lot of people that runs Bears team teams are still using Trubisky, but right now I'm using Foles. Um, I don't take into account what they're doing in real life for the for Madden. I just go for what's better for Madden right now. If I was talking about real life, I would obviously play Mitch right now. But yeah, set feet elite is what really um, I really like about Nick Foles, so that's why I have him starting at quarterback right now. And then my um, where's the other one at? Is it, I guess it's just this one. Okay, where? Okay. Who them? Huh. I guess it's counting this as a three out of three X factor, even though it's not activated. Hmm. I don't know. But AP wise, uh, for the rest of these cards. I have uh, Jimbo Covert, uh, Edge Protector, and then Identifier. Identifier, I love to see where who they're using, which is really nice. So I threw that on him. And then Edge Protector, of course, everyone has Edge Threat now, so that shuts that down. As for Pace, I have Edge Protector on him as well on the right side. So both my guys have Edge Protector to protect against Edge Threat. Um, matchup Nightmare on Jimmy Graham is, I mean, unreal. Uh, better route running and catching versus linebackers. Yeah, and tight ends. Uh, a lot of the guys will play linebackers on tight ends in this game, and then he just cooks them. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Some of the animations I've got with him is just amazing. So um, a very very nice AP spin. I think I've done pretty well um, spreading my AP around to these guys. And yeah, I don't know who I would change out for. I maybe change out Foles as set feet elite, but I just really like. Like I said, I really like it. Um, I don't know who I'd put it on those two AP, but yeah, so that's offense of X factors and um, Ability points Yeah, I don't know why it's saying two out of th or three out of three X factor. I only have two of them activated. Eh, whatever. I don't, I don't know defensive wise We'll get into this Oh, let me reactivate Mac I got level 70, so I put, I took max, um, come on, let me, let me, let me go over. I can't be the only one that gets stuck like that, right, for a little bit. So, I took max, uh, limited time card out that I pulled, pulled him out, and then put the 92 power up pass in when I hit level 70 today, and now I'm actually, I have Mac on the auction block right now, so hopefully he'll sell pretty soon, that'll be another, uh, about 270, 280 I'm gonna get back, which is nice. So, this is how, um... The X Factors look for us. So I have uh, Run stu Stuffer for a Koye. He gets better block shot. It's better block shooting and more effective versus run plays. Um, doesn't really get activated too much, but I kind of just want it there just in case if it does. I've activated it a couple times, um, and it's pretty dominant when they run. It basically forces them to pass all the time. And then the same with Khalil Mack. I have Run Stuffer as the X Factor. Again, having two guys have Run Stuffer when they're activated is kind of insane. Um, I've only done it when both of them were activated like one time, but you know, I get one of them activated every now and then. So I don't know. It's just nice to have. I think the defensive X factors are kind of a little bit, are kind of harder to activate than offense. Um, but yeah, these are the two guys for two of my X factors. I have run stuff around and then which is really nice. Um, I just wanted, I kind of threw this on there because originally I had three run stuffers with Mac Okoye and Hicks, but I took it off Hicks and I put selfless on Roquan Smith So it would make these guys go into the zone if this gets activated and I kind of just wanted them there to show that I had him and I have his limited card in my top three um, and I did spend like 525,000 coins on him. He's now back up to 800 something. So I guess it wasn't too bad of a purchase, but at the time, I was like, I want everyone to know that I have this because uh, I spent a lot of coins on it, and I, I'm for sure using them for that amount of coins. So I put Selfless on them. 
Um, it'll make these guys go crazy on the on the defensive line. So yeah, I have those are my X factors on defense. Um, Roquan does not have any uh, abilities on him, just the X factor ability for Mac is just edge threat. Uh, again, three AP, kind of a steep AP, but it's just an awesome, awesome ability. And especially if oh, you'd be surprised, a lot of people still don't have edge protector in their tackles. And I mean, this he just absolutely destroys people if they don't have it. it, it it's ridiculous. He's getting back there in two or three seconds, so it's awesome. I love I love this ability, edge threat, especially when they don't have edge protector, because it even beats edge protector every now and then. So great, uh, great um, chemistry. So put that on if you have it and have enough AP. Acrobat on Tracy Porter. Acrobat on Fuller. These two with Acrobat. Acrobat is one of the most insane abilities in this game. Diving swats and interceptions. Like, you don't even have to be controlling them. And even when you are controlling them, it does it for you. It's kind of nuts. Like, it's just weird. It's like you'd even hit the dive button, but it dove for you and it caught it. And it's crazy. I, 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 that If you have additional ability points, that's why I had. And I threw them on Fuller and Porter. I wanted to try to work around to try to get another ability point free so I can put that on Jalen Johnson so all my corners have it. But right now, just these two, these two, uh, the one and two corners have it, and it, 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 it's an, it's crazy. So if you have any AP, throw them on your corners uh, for acrobat for one AP, and it's, it'll change your life. It's awesome. Um, for Akoye, I have inside stuff, quicker run sheds against inside zone plays, three AP, uh, just a phenomenal ability. It's ridiculous. If they run inside, it's GGs. He just throws the center or whoever's on him like a ragdoll and tackles him in the backfield. It's nuts. Um, just a great, great chemistry, especially for Okoye. So if you have Okoye and don't have inside stuff, you're doing it wrong. Definitely put that on him. And then lastly, I have inside stuff on Akeem Hicks. Again, he does play my, like outside uh like the end right i run three down linemen with hicks okoye and mac so he is on the end a little bit and doesn't really get activated too much so i'm gonna try to figure out um a way to get like i said acrobat on jalen johnson and then try to find a, a decent ability to put on hicks still for one ap so he's still pretty dominant but um even without the inside stuff these cards are all just amazing by themselves um just inside stuff is just ridiculous on a koye especially at your d tackles so whoever whoever you run a d tackle definitely use inside stuff it'll change your life when they're running the ball against you it's nice but um i have inside stuff on hicks because he gets activated too and then you have two people in the backfield and your your the running back has to choose to either run it to the outside or just get tackled but he has about a second to do that so and a lot of times they just get tackled in the backfield so those are abilities and x factors on defense like i said i'm probably gonna try to change uh hicks's abilities a little bit and try to put uh, a acrobat on jalen johnson so but that is that is the chemistries that is the x factors the abilities um the physical chem that I have on everyone. This is how we're setting up uh, right now. I will do an update video, you know, I don't know how long from now, but in a little bit, I don't know when, if I change anything too drastic or, you know, when I'm finally starting to hit this 50 out of 50 on zone run and balance D, definitely have a video out for those. Uh, but yeah, you know, these boosts, it's helping our overall a lot. Like I said, we hit that 90 in our video yesterday. Um, you haven't checked out the new update video go ahead and check that out the last the last video i just uploaded and yeah we're 90 overall 89 offense and 91 defense um i am slowly getting sam mills up um i think you saw my lineup i think he's an 89 for me right now um i did the the passing thanksgiving like thing for 200 uh, XP and it probably took me about I went from level 59 to 70 in probably about two hours very nice uh, Solo if you haven't done it yet, but that's putting me you know only 9,000 9,100 9, 9, away for passing yards. There's one there only 130 um, passing more touchdowns Which is another upgrade rushing touchdowns. I'm uh, just getting naturally 93 away. So kind of close honestly Um because I do run the ball a lot. Uh, sacks, I'm only four away for 200, so I'm really close to four of them right now, and 
yeah and then the two you know do two activities for uh season three i only have 80 out of team tackles these team tackles will just come naturally they come pretty fast so again like i'm four or five upgrades i'm really close on four or five upgrades for um sam mill so let's see how much he will go for and i think mac just sold no he didn't he's still here on the block right here right here um sam mills where you at buddy here we go he's playing up to a 90 for me and i hit the wrong button sam mills would be up to and he actually might get another shaker ability slot right now he's up to 89 playing to a 90 this oh a 93 okay so not yet um so one two three four so four i'm really close on would be 92 and then once i get the 1500 team tackles 93 and then the other three left so not too bad he'll be a 93 for me playing up to probably 94 95 here shortly so hopefully get that done in about a week or two and he'll be up that high and I'll, yeah so I've been grinding a lot recently. I hit level 70, like I said. So if you enjoyed the video, that's all the chemistries and abilities and X factors and physicals I do. Um, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. On the road to 250. Peace.